To be honest, I have done this research almost a month ago and I have already the components there, the modules and have soldered everything. But I have to do this research video for you. So let's start and let's check how I did it this time I started. So I just went to Fonel page and, um, and every other supplier and just typed in Bluetooth. So we get some values there and uh, network modules and there it is Bluetooth and you can just uh, pick the Bluetooth version you want. So we just picked the 4.0 plus EDR. I don't know what is meant by that but I just uh, show the uh, results and sort it by the price because I'm a really cheap guy. You have to know this, okay. Um, so what do we have? Uh, yeah, we have some small module here. I just want some nice food print which I can sold at home. It's starting here with 9 euros without an antenna. So I just went further and just took uh, a look at this modules. And you can see already all these chips are using some Texas instrument um, IC. Um, this is the CC25 and so on. So the module that um, I have ordered, which is already there on the bench, is the CC2540. And yeah, as you can see, uh, I would have to pay for even the module, I would have to pay about 15 euros. So I just um, looked and, at, at these devices and saw, okay, uh, it seems that um, this Texas Instrument uh, chip is quite neat and has the features um, that I, I could use. In the datasheet I already, already uh, was uh, convinced, man, I have to use this, uh, this IC because it's a complete system on chip. You have a microcontroller even included in this. Uh, lots of RAM, lots of um, flash and you can program it to do all the stuff. You don't even have to uh, have another microcontroller with which is controlling this module. But you can. So if you are familiar with, uh, with your Atmel or PIC or whatever, you can just communicate with the, this module and uh, leave it as it is and are not forced to use uh, any other development stuff. So, um, as you can see, uh, there is many IOs, there is um, even 12-bit uh, uh, ADC, uh, op-amp and timers and every stuff you can imagine. So, I thought, okay, this is quite fancy and the most important stuff, if I ever want to solder this chip myself on the board, not using a finished module, I just have to see how this package C looks like. So, this is the uh, package and this is quite easy. Because the pins, I have ordered one of these chips myself and uh, the pins they are going to the side and you can solder from the side even if you don't use any solder paste and reflow and uh, stuff like this. The only problem you might get is uh, the ground pad. The ground pad is on the bottom and you can't reach it from above. I searched a cheaper, a cheaper source for these chips and what I found was at AliExpress so I just type in 2540 and I get this module 5 euros. Seriously? That's the difference. It's uh, one third of the price I would have to pay in uh, Europe. So let's just order. The shipping is 1 euro um, 87. You can maybe get it even with, with free shipping, but uh, yeah, here it is. I, I just have to uh, check this design, but look, you can have it for, okay, you, you have to buy some of them, but even though for fif uh, 57 
dollars without shipping you get how many? 10 pieces. So it's quite cheap. It's below 5 euros a piece and you can, if you are convinced with this module, you can just order one and if you're convinced you can just uh, order this whole badge and build this in every device you want to use in your quadcopter, in your power supply, in your whatever stuff you want to control with your computer or with your smartphone. So um, I just ordered two of these and I ordered also a single chip as I mentioned before. This module that it's so cheap in China is called HM10. It's a pre-programmed um, IC and have some um, default ports described and this not connected ports which they are declared not connected there are used uh, that can be used to program uh, the chip and uh, use as uh, other IO pins. You can use it as it is and control it with serial interface but you can also program it with your own code and use every pin and uh, sorts of lots of stuff that uh, are on this chip. And that's, that's what I plan to do sometimes. But there are some difficulties. Or let's say not difficulties, but challenges to do this. My further research brought up that um, it's not that simple to uh, program this chip itself. So. Um, with this module we have some starting point. We can just use this uh, implementation on the chip that's, that's present on this module. But you have uh, to know that if you want to program the system on chip yourself, the microcontroller on this, on this uh, IC, you have to have some development tools. So what I was... what I have seen on uh, the website from Texas Instrument, you need the CC debugger to program the chip. I ordered one, you can get it from Farnell Element 14. Since the module has a complete implementation ready, you don't have to buy another flash tool. But I just wanted to go for the complete challenge. I bought the CC debugger. This was quite cheap decision because the kit was 100 euro and I went for the 50 euros for the debugger and saved the 50 euros. For 50 euros you can get another 10 modules, not just two like in the kit. So let's start the design!